awakening in a dreamy, goofy, goober wonderland where... Oh, wait a minute. Hey, it's the goofy goober. Patrick, there's the goofy goober himself. Oh, boy. As I was saying, SpongeBob and Patrick continued on, allowing nothing to distract them. Goofy, 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 goofy. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a dream. Don't waste your time. Uh, go ahead. Welcome back to Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants, the movie, the video game. So we just got taken by the Cyclops, also known as a scuba person Only or something. Goober knows the way out of Gooberland. The and sea bottoms nutty. Now we have this. Because we're unconscious. Collectively, apparently. Yes, another driving level. What's worse is that there's a slide level immediately after this. I don't know if I'm gonna complete all the challenges for this and then the slide. Because I don't really want to do all of this. I don't, I don't want to spend another episode doing Guys, all that. Goofy but. Goober knows the way out of the amusement park. Follow Goofy Goober and don't lose him. Oh yeah, I forgot don't about that. Don't worry, Mindy. There is no chance of him getting away from us. That is him behind us, by the way. Yeah, we won't let him out of our sight. If he gets too far away from you, you'll have to start again. So yes, unfortunately you can't just leisurely drive through this time, but... So you actually have to follow Goofy Goober. But, eh, not too much of a problem. I mean, there's... There are a lot of hazards in this level, though. This is the second final patty mission, patty level, so, uh... By the way, no, I'm pretty sure it's impossible to pass up Goofy Goober. I'm pretty sure he'll just, uh... Pretty sure he's stuck a set distance in front of you. By the way, that brown stuff, if you land on that, you'll stop, uh, or it'll slow down. Obviously, you don't want to touch these things, like I just did. Damn it. Patty, you need to cannibalize more. From a further distance. I think I'll... No, screw it, I don't care. Probably lose him if we go through here, but... You suck. You suck so much. Okay. Well, that was a great idea. I'll p I'm not sure if there are any... Yeah, I, I can get on all the time challenges if I don't get it otherwise. So, shouldn't be a problem. Man, I, I don't know how long it's going to take for me to go back and get all the uh, extras I've missed in these levels. Because all of them I just straight up don't know where they are, and some of them... I just didn't have the ability, ability to get it, get it yet. But, either way... I always try to avoid that first ice cream thing by going to the right, but it hardly works out for me. Anyways, yeah, I guess you don't want to go through that wall. By the way, all the, uh, maybe not all, but a lot of the photos here, a lot of the things on the wall you see, are actually from Valve Key Bottom. Where are they? I don't recognize any of them, if many. Or many, if any. Not sure, actually. Although, something I do know is you see at least one. You see the kid from uh, Val Valve Key Bottom. Like, the kids that were uh, stuck with balloons floating above the ocean. They, um, you see that kid in the, uh, museum. So, more about for you to about him stuff. Because this game just can't be the original or something. I don't hate the game or anything like that for being like that. But, God, there's just so much. I don't like this area. This bit just turns so much. Even extra for you to make the By the way, yes, you will slow down a bit if you uh, get too far behind, but still, make sure you don't accidentally uh, slow down too much. If you go to the left there, I believe there is a uh, treasure chest. Oh god. Don't get hit by that. Just got hit by that same one a second time. It is also a good idea to know what you can and can't break here. Uh, what the sh- What? How, where did that- how did you get that exit that was floating up there? What? I'm unaware. Actually. I don't remember how you get that. But, um... Like, usually the lampposts cannot be collected, or cannot be smashed straight through. Um... Some... I mean, it's just... It's just kind of ruined by experience. 
Okay, I saw one Battle for King Bottom poster, though. Uh, here, it has, uh, the Patrick, like, the Patrick robot. But other than that, I don't, don't think I've seen any of that is from Battle for King Bottom, actually. Don't know why I use that immediately. Pick up that fatty. Screw you. Speaking of, I picked up at least one. picked up an extra. What is it? Oh, I picked up a few extras. God. Ah, how fitting. Goofy Goober. Oh, that's nice. Why is the head on the ass? Well, that was fun. Follow that peanut, man. Something else. There's something that you can usually pick here, but I don't remember what is it. it is. I always try to... I always try to end up trying to break through it, though, with varying degrees of success. Whoa! It hit Goofy Goober, man! Goober down. It just doesn't care. It just takes it like a man or Goober or something. He continues on his merry Goober way. Are we ever going to take the left path, Cooper? And all the ring challenge always says you take the right too. It's kind of annoying. I like how Goofy Goober just like levitates over the uh Oh, I just uh, touched Goofy Goober. I like how he uh just like levitates over the jumps. So, yeah, the last was fall. I don't hear about it was I thought you could always break through because I'm just not here anymore. Thank god, you keep up with the goober. I don't know how it works. I think you just have to be within a certain distance of him. It may be one of those things where you have to like keep somebody on screen. Reminds me of Infamous or uh, the courier missions. Those suck so much. You always had to keep the enemy on on screen. But you couldn't let them see you. If they were off screen, even if you knew where they were, it would still it would still fall to you. And now, we can finally go on that slide up there, too. The water slide, which I actually enjoy quite a bit. Follow the goober. It's actually kind of a pain in this area, though. It's so hard to get, so damn hard to navigate the water. Get up, goober! Ah, oh, come on, I was so close to that. Okay, I pulled that turn very well. Good. And... Alright, and you hear the patio I can break down. Well done, Patrick and SpongeBob. Uh, that place is Here's your reward. so long. She said my name first. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, so that is that. And we have a slide immediately after this, like I said before. It's my favorite slide, and also the, mm, and the last they slide, from their but... Sweet dreams of ice cream sundaes and dancing peanuts, they discover that they Unfortunately, you don't get to see the wonderful of the Cyclops. dried up scene see, from uh, viewers, the actual movie, though. Had long last made it to Shell City, and had discovered its awful secret. Shell City was nothing more than a souvenir shop. Those who were captured were dried up and turned into smelly knickknacks. And that is precisely what was happening to our two friends. The situation seemed to be completely and utterly hopeless. But they were saved by the tear of the goofy goo bill, as well as a conveniently placed sprinkler system. King Neptune's crown lay nearby, but our heroes still needed to escape the treacherous depths of Shell City and get past their most dangerous adversary, the Cyclops. So, instead of just running around the window, we actually have to, I don't know, find the window City? or something. What a horrible place! But don't worry, there must be a way out. This place is pretty cool, actually. I really like this. Good job getting the crown. Are you kidding? That was easy. He just about died. Yeah, we are the manliest of men. Then what about the hopelessness? Hopelessness? The weeping? Lady, you must have been watching over someone else. Never mind. There's no time to waste. 
find a way out of here, get past the Cyclops, and back to the Krusty Krab. I do not like, no, like, past the Cyclopses in red, because he just kind of, like, appears in places, just like the, uh, monsters did in the rock slide. So that. yes, there are faucets that you must turn to progress. But, I don't know, make things happen. Beautiful. This is a pretty difficult slide, and I love it for doing for um, being that way. I don't know why the camera always turns to the right here, it always does, though. Trash can that you couldn't see that you can jump over. By the way, the water spraying out of the faucets actually hurts you. Yeah, pull up here and do stuff like that. But us, you actually have to hit the faucets to uh, open up the paths. What the hell? Oh, cool. Okay, you can see them from the front. Patrick look weird. Uh, it bugs me so much that the camera always does that. If you listen closely, when you're actually near these fish tanks around here, you can hear uh, Patrick's relatives cheering him on. Yeah, you can just like jump right through that. Yeah. Uh, usually when I ride play through through the slide, I just take the direct path to the end. I don't remember any of the faucets are or anything because we play through a second time, all the faucets are already hit. Okay, so that's one faucet right there. No, don't take that path. That path is stupid. The path is pain. Suffering, despair, and everything else. I never take that hole. I never take that turn there. Ever. It was like a new experience. Game likes to dare you, dare you to get close to the edge, too. Promises of manliness and such things. Seriously! Why do explosions have to ruin everything? Yeah, and that, uh. That. Uh, is it that paddy wagon area, that took so. That took a long time, actually. Man. It's going to really suck getting the, uh. Yeah. Damn it. Well, you can see, new animation. Uh, it's really going to suck getting... How are you showing me these sound packs? I don't think I've seen... I'm showing you a lot of these. Okay, screw you. That sound you just heard was me muting the microphone because I was about to sneeze. I like, held on the sneeze for a long time, and then it... Ah, I didn't sneeze. The instant I hit the mute sound. I can't hear any of these, by the way, so... If I accidentally talk over them, it's because I can't hear it. That one I could hear. And now another sound back. How much of a man do I have to be? The manliness has landed. Go! Yeah, we are the manliest of men. I can't tell if those sound clips are still going on or not. I seriously cannot hear those, so if I, I did. If it, well, I did seem kind of stupid regarding like the timing for starting new clips. That's why it was pretty much complete oh, guesswork. The thing is, if I turn my volume up, I'm actually be able to hear the game adequately. When I start up Jet Set Radio HD, it's going to be really loud, so I don't like having to turn back down. Must smash, Usually, it's fine. 
at the bottom of this now, though. And then all faucets turn. Bad. So now I believe we can just progress through the level. Uh, unbothered. I have to see about that though. I don't think there are any equivalents to the faucets though once you get up to a higher level. Uh, with the wires though instead of hoses. Yay. Well, that so I'll hit that third boss if this thing came down and we can go up here. Now I know how my ancestors felt. I don't know, there's something I really like. Like the novelty of being in like a realistic place or something like that is just really cool to me. I don't remember how to get to the treasure chest here. I don't remember what the... Oh, yeah, you have to hit those. I don't remember what the uh, direct path is either. So you have to drop the lamp so you can uh, ride them all up. To, uh, up to the final hose, or the final... Whatever it's called. Up to the final cord. These are incredibly thick cords, by the way. Uh, to get out the window and be free, because for some reason the window's up at and ceiling level. Is how we do things in Bikini Bottom. I'll try my lantern, but I'll mess up my lantern on here. <laughs> Not sure how this charity team knocks down all the lamps, or why the lamps are even here, or why cords and hoses are levitating here, but I'll go with it. So well, that's not one treasure chest that I saw floating. It is on the blue hood, the blue cord apparently. You suck so much, by the way. Kim it game. Can y'all lay down here? What's that? What's that? Tiny foggers. I'll turn that on and look at it later. It makes foggers tiny. That's all there is. It looks kind of funny with long book head antennae, by the way. But nothing terribly amazing. Wow. I think that this crown will be pretty buoyant, actually. Next. And it'll get wet, that would suck, but I don't think it'll be buoyant. Anyways, by the way, the actual, like, wires inside of these big cord packages or whatever uh, are actually intangible. If you just, like, touch the edge of a cord, nothing will happen. Like that. Although, you will regret it. Yeah. Why? In this level, why? Why does the camera always turn to the right? It's just being a bit tedious watching me fall every other minute here. Why does everything float, though? By the way, if you look down at that, at that arm, it's just a floating arm. I kind of want to show that right now, actually. Hans. Well, whoa! What just happened? Upside to my uh, faster, faster. upside to my that is an arm. So yes. Look at that jiggly sponge. Oh. Upside to not being able to hear any sound, though, is that I do not hear that failure sound over and over and over again. Why? Again. Something that always bugs me is like that gold uh, shell bit. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's always clipping through whatever it is you're sliding on. That bugs me so much. Bothers me way more than it should. Anyways, let's finally finish this place. 
sure you've been waiting a bit longer than you would like for that. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next episode, though. Man, this is going to be the entire episode. Wow. Just two levels. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm not sure if I'm going to go for... Is that an extra say there? Yes. I'm not sure if I'm going to get, uh, go for the... Paddy wa or paddy wagon or the slide or what? You're not gonna manage to slip between that. Between that, that's just bad. Again, again. But yeah, I'll get them all done eventually. And then there's gonna be the uh, after the next level is going to be get these shiny objects. I have some shiny objects, and then after. The next level, as well after this, I'm going to have to uh, put up with having yet another paddy wagon mission, and then it's the final boss. So there's so many driving levels and slides and everything in general. So long. Attack of the disembodied arm. You suck so much right now. Well, that was different. Actually, the sh yeah, actually, the checkpoint will make me spawn right in front of it. Never mind. Uh, I swear. What? Yeah, I, I noticed. Building a path to tomorrow. You're a jerk, game. Anyways, look at also a novel. But yes, further further runs for this level are going to be much much shorter now that we can take a direct path through. So I need to go everywhere to hit all of whatever it may be. So that'll also be the end of this episode, probably after the cutscene. Ah, look at that, the glorious, glorious light. And you actually you just hit this wall all the in your wake, but you did make it, so here's your reward. So why am I back here? <laughs> why does she reward us? What do these things actually do, other than like letting me have new abilities? So, and why do they enable me to have new abilities? So many questions. Of the Cyclops, SpongeBob and Patrick find themselves standing on the beach, staring out at the vastness of the ocean. How are we gonna get back to Bikini Bottom? I can take it. Oh there. yeah, I forgot about this. I'm not a lifeguard. That looks terrible. Play one on TV. So, uh, where's your boat? Boat. <laughs> Hooray! Nothing can stop us now. Bikini Bottom, here we come. See you guys next time with the best boss ever.